Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is gonna be on this gray, pink, sparkly, halo makeup and it's very uh, soft, it's very girly. If you guys want to see how I create this look, just keep on watching. I'm gonna start by applying the primer and the primer I'm gonna be using today, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Portion in Original. I'm gonna apply right on my eyelids and I'm gonna blend it with my finger. The first shadow I'm gonna use is the eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, Sand Solar. And I will be using on the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. And I'm just gonna apply all over my crease. So this eyeshadow really doesn't have that much color, but it's gonna be easier to blend darker shades when we're gonna apply later. The next color I'm gonna take is Friend Zone by Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna use on a smaller brush, Diffused Crease E38 brush. And I'm gonna start defining my crease a little bit. And I'm doing this in a circular motion from outer corner to inner corner. The next shadow I will be using is Still by Makeup Geek. And now I will be building my halo effect. So I will be using cream color E58 brush and I'm gonna press this eyeshadow on my inner corner and my outer corner. I'm gonna leave this space empty because I'm gonna apply a different shade. Now I'm gonna bring this a little bit higher into my crease. When my eye is open, I want this color to pick a little bit more. So I like to place it a little bit higher than my crease area. Then I'm gonna go back to Diffuse Crease E38 brush and I'm just gonna blend my crease. Now I'm gonna create a little bit of the shape. I'm gonna use Diffused Crease E38 brush and I'm gonna place the end piece of my primer next to my eyelid and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna blend the eyeshadow into my crease. And then when you take it away, you have this nice and sharp edge. Now while I'm still on this shadow, I'm gonna take the Flat Definer E15 brush by Sigma and I'm gonna smoke out my bottom eyelashes. And I'm just gonna copy what I have on top, I'm gonna put in the inner corner and outer corner and I'm gonna leave the middle space empty. I'm gonna take the short shader E20 brush and I'm just gonna blend. Now for my center of my eyelid, I'm gonna be using Laura Geller Easy Illuminating Stick in Diamond Dust. And I'm gonna take concealer F70 brush and I'm gonna take a small amount and I'm gonna apply on my eyelid. I'm gonna use Laura Geller Big Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust. While my lid is still wet, I'm gonna take with my finger and I'm gonna place it in the center. And this just gives absolutely stunning effect. I just cleaned my concealer F70 brush and I'm gonna pick up this color a little bit and I'm gonna place it a little bit higher than my actual crease. And then I'm gonna just blend the edges. Then I'm gonna go back to E38 brush and I'm just gonna blend the crease a little bit. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing where I just did on top, I'm gonna repeat on the bottom. Not to highlight my eyebrow bone, I'm gonna be using White Lies by Makeup Geek. And I'll be using an exact blend E32 brush. And I always like to go back and blend my eyebrow bone shadow with my eyeshadows that I applied previously. For my inner corner highlight, I'll be using Diamond Dust with Smudge E21 brush. Now the only thing is left to do is to pop some glitter and the glitter we'll be using is the Heavy Metals by Urban Decay in color Grind. And I'm just gonna apply in the center of my eyelid. And as well, I'm gonna apply on the bottom of my eyelashes. Now the only thing left to do is apply some mascara and falsies. And the lashes I will be using is the Lily Lashes. And I apply my mascara and falsies and I will be right back. The eyes are done. Now the only thing left to do is my cheeks and my lips. And I'm gonna be using the Big Blush Book by Tarte. And the color I will be using is this color right here, Poised. I'm gonna be using on a Sigma Large Angle Contour F40 brush. And I'm just gonna apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm just gonna take the big fluffy brush by Tarte and I'm gonna blend the blush. Now to highlight my nose, I'm gonna go to Spirited, the Sigma Smudge E21 brush. And I'm gonna apply it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose. For my highlight, I'm gonna first use the Easy Illuminating Stick by Laura Geller in Diamond Dust. I'm gonna rub it on my finger and I'm gonna tap the high points of my cheek. Then I'm gonna take the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush and I'm gonna go to Laura Geller Diamond Dust and I'm gonna apply on my cheekbones. 
And I'm gonna go back with a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend the highlight and my contour and my blush together. Now the only thing left to do is my lips. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Always On Metallic Matte in color Crystal Bel Air. I'm gonna apply a thin layer of this lipstick on my lips. Then just tap it with my finger. I want to have very little hint of pink. And I'm going to apply a lip gloss over it. And I'm, the lip gloss I will be using is the Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Gloss in Diamond Dust. And I'm just going to apply all over my lips. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow with the diamond dust. I think it's going to look much prettier. And this is my finished look of my diamond dust inspired makeup. List of all the products that I use for today's video will be linked down below for you guys to find them easily. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Like this video, comment if you want to see anything else. Also, I would like to say happy holidays to you guys. Happy and a healthy new year ahead. And I should see you hopefully in the next video. Bye!